Hey guys, welcome to my list of the best trading platforms and cryptocurrency exchanges. So if you're looking to buy and sell Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies and you are a beginner, I'm gonna go through the best ways to do that in this video. Now this is for beginners, so if you are new to buying Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies and you're not really sure where to start, then I'm gonna go over really the best and most popular ways and trading platforms to buy crypto and Bitcoin, but also some of the benefits and differences between them as well. Also be sure to check the description for timestamps of this video and also links to these crypto exchanges so you can go and see what they're like and see which one benefits you. Let's go on to Binance though, one of the largest, most popular cryptocurrency exchanges in the world and some of the largest selection of cryptocurrencies to trade. Binance actually runs a lot of different cryptocurrency exchanges around the world. I think there's one in Singapore, I think there's one in the UK, in Jersey, and there's one in the US as well. And you will actually be trading on one of those exchanges depending on where you live. Binance does about $2 billion daily volume in crypto trades. As I said, it's one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges in the world. If you do use Binance, it gives a very good set of trading tools, also price tools and charting features. It's much more like a pro trading setup and anyone familiar with share trading or spread betting, any of those type of platforms, it's really a very similar thing just for cryptocurrency. Binance also offers leveraged trading of cryptos as well. Absolutely not recommended for beginners or pretty much anyone that isn't uh, actually just a professional hedge fund really, in my opinion, but obviously that's down to personal choice. To be honest, all of this can be quite confusing to beginners. If you're just trying to get into this, there's a lot of information here and it's kind of overwhelming. So you might wanna actually go with some more consumer friendly type of apps and services, which I'll discuss later. In terms of security, about 98% of deposits of the cryptocurrencies are held off the exchange, which is more or less similar to competitors. It's on the higher end, so definitely good. Binance also has a crypto wallet as well. And as I said, that's the thing that you can actually store your cryptocurrency in. The one that Binance uses is actually called Trust Wallet though. So this is an online digital style cryptocurrency wallet. Trust Wallet is actually owned by Binance now. So even though it's under a different brand, it is the same company. In terms of deposits and other fees, deposits are free, so that's very good. There is a small charge for credit card deposits though, and some competitors don't do that. Withdrawal fees depends on what currency you're using. Trading fees are extremely low, amongst the lowest in the industry, starting at 0.1 of a percent trading fee, which is super good. Binance overall is the choice of many cryptocurrency traders, one of the largest and most used cryptocurrency exchanges, it is a solid brand name within the industry. Coinbase is next on the list and again, a very solid name and one that's been around a long time. Coinbase has one of the most extensive selection of cryptos to trade. Of course, Bitcoin is in there, but you can also trade many others like Ethereum, Litecoin, and to be honest, the list is so long that there are many on there that most traders won't even care to know about. Coinbase is based in San Francisco. It's actually one of the first cryptocurrency exchanges in the world. Now to get access to advanced trading within Coinbase, you need to go for Coinbase Pro. You actually sign up for Coinbase first and then get the Coinbase Pro account and you can get all the pro trading features. Coinbase is available in over 100 countries, all Western markets. So if you're in the US, Canada, UK, Australia. Now Coinbase also have their own wallet as well. So like Binance with Trust Wallet, Coinbase uh, Exchange also has Coin Wallet. And this is the way that you can store your crypto if you want to. A lot of people use Coinbase because of the one-stop service that you have. So you can buy and sell Bitcoin or other cryptos on Coinbase Exchange, then use Coin Wallet, and the wallet is going to be where you store it, but also you can actually pay for things with Coin Wallet as well. So if you're out there and someone accepts Bitcoin, this is how you'd pay for it. Security is taken care of with Coinbase though. They hold, I think, about 95% of their crypto off the exchange. So that means if they do get hacked, they're not gonna be liable for the whole lot, which is obviously going to be a complete disaster. When it comes to fees for Coinbase, definitely not as cheap as the competition. A lot of people use Coinbase because of the uh, simplicity that you get with their systems. It's a bit more consumer friendly. You are gonna be paying for it though. Credit and debit card and PayPal are all accepted as deposit methods if you want to uh, deposit fiat currency to go and buy cryptocurrencies. Fees are higher though. 
It is free to take the crypto from the exchange into your wallet though, so that's a positive. Coinbase is a good starting point for trading and also for the wallet. It's one of the uh, most established names in the industry and a lot of uh, consumer type traders will choose Coinbase, but it is definitely on the higher side when it comes to costs. And also their customer service doesn't have the best reputation because I think it's automated and it takes like a day for them to get back to you. Not the best. So there are some downsides, but it's kind of easy to use if you are using it, you might wanna check it out. eToro is another one that I definitely wanna put on the list. And I would say this is even more consumer focused than Coinbase. If you just wanna dabble in some cryptocurrency tra trading and you have some other trades as well, eToro is kind of an all-in-one solution. Unlike the first two I mentioned, eToro is like a full service kind of broker. So you can trade stocks like Amazon and Apple on there, just hold them in your account. More recently, they have added cryptos to trade and they actually have a pretty extensive list. All of the top cryptocurrencies are in here available to trade. eToro isn't a crypto first type of brand, but I like the way that they've set it up. It is like the rest of the app, incredibly simple to just trade cryptocurrencies along with stocks in your account. eToro has a lot of other features as well though, something that eToro call copy trading, which is essentially social trading. So instead of just buying cryptocurrencies or stocks, you can actually go and copy trade other high profile traders on the system. And they may be more towards cryptocurrencies, they may be more towards stocks, but you can actually copy all of their trades. So maybe they have a portfolio of stocks and they have a holding of some cryptocurrencies, but they also have some lower risk equities and stocks. You can actually copy them. And that is a unique thing about eToro as a trading platform over the more straightforward cryptocurrency exchanges. eToro does also have a crypto wallet, meaning that you can easily buy Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, move it into your wallet for later use. What's great about eToro though is you also get a free paper trading account. So you can download the app, see if you like it, see if you like how to trade on there, learn a bit about trading, give you $100,000 of paper money to go and just see how the app actually works. I'll leave that link below in the description if you wanna go and download a free paper trading account and just see what eToro is like. When it comes to deposits and fees, there are no deposit fees with eToro, even if you use Visa and MasterCard, PayPal, Skrill, and way more. There are also no trading fees either. Now, 0.1% for Binance is pretty low, but uh, eToro make their money in the spread when you're buying and selling. So there are actually no fees. They are sort of commission free. They take their money in the spread. And when it comes to withdrawal fees, that is a flat $5 to take your money out. It's not as pro and focused on cryptocurrencies as the first two that I mentioned, but as an overall service and a broker, eToro has a lot of benefits. The next one is even less of a cryptocurrency exchange, but I'm gonna mention it anyway, which is Robinhood. And the reason I mention this is because Robinhood is so popular. It's really one of the most widely used trading platforms for younger people in my age range. So is Robinhood good to use or should you actually have a Robinhood account and then open another crypto account as well? Well, firstly, Robinhood does have cryptocurrency trading now. It's kind of a little bit different to their stocks, but it is available in the app and you can trade all of the most popular cryptos on there. There are some glaring issues with Robinhood when it comes to crypto trading, and that is made up by the ease of use and trading cryptos in your Robinhood account. You definitely don't get the vast array of features and access to endless cryptocurrencies like you do in Binance and Coinbase, but simplicity, ease of use, Short learning curve are the huge benefits of Robinhood. You get 24 seven support, everything is commission free, and you don't have to open a new account if you already have a Robinhood that you're trading stocks and shares in. If you need a more pro solution, Robinhood is not for you. This is just a consumer focused, easy to use way of dabbling, maybe buying some Bitcoin. Security is a big question mark as well. If you wanna transfer your Bitcoins or your other cryptos, you have to verify your identity with Robinhood. And for a lot of people trading cryptos, this is just unacceptable. It's why they trade cryptos. For most consumers, you, we're gonna have no problem with that. Moving on though to the next one, a real proper focus cryptocurrency exchange. Kraken offers margin and leverage trading. Again, not recommended for most people. But Kraken does have a good set of tutorials and how to's and FAQs, so if you're just learning about Bitcoin and cryptos, you can go and see those before you actually sign up for an account. And if you have signed up for an account, there is good support as well. You actually get 24 seven support and live chat, which definitely should not be overlooked, especially if you're a first timer. 
95% of deposits are held offline to increase security, not as much as the competition, some at 98%, but it is in the ballpark of what would be industry standard. Kraken's trading platform has improved over the years. It didn't have the best reputation to begin with. It has got better though, and it is more than enough for most normal consumers who are looking to just dip their toe with cryptocurrencies. Fees are actually way lower than Coinbase as well, starting at 0.26%, which is almost half of what you're getting charged on Coinbase. Kraken also offers something called a maker take a fee model. And this means that there's actually different prices and a pricing structure for people that are taking liquidity off the platform versus people that are giving the platform liquidity. This essentially means that if you are adding liquidity, you are trading and adding investment into the platform, you get cheaper prices. Trading fees can be as low as 0.16% for makers versus 0.26% for takers. Security options are outstanding in my opinion. There are multiple methods that you can secure your account and your cryptocurrencies by using offline and physical methods as well as some digital methods too. You can see some of the options here like a configurable account timeout, SSL encryption, and even a physical secure key to log into your account used with Google Authenticator and YubiKey. Kraken is a very good choice. It's been around for a long time, it's used by a lot of people, and it's known to be very secure. I'll put the links to all of these cryptocurrency exchanges and trading platforms in the description box below, so you can go through and see which one is best for your needs. Best of luck with your cryptocurrency trading. That is it for this one though. Thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you did like it, and I'll see you in the next one.